Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Guo Dongxie, and I come from the Adapt Center, Dublin City University. Today, I will introduce my paper, Constraining the Transformer AMT Model with Heuristic Grid Beam Search. First, let me introduce, uh, give the background of our work. In our work, we say there are two kinds of decoding patterns in machine translation. First one is normal decoding. Most machine translation models accept a plan sentences and get the translation result. For example, when I provide an English sentence to the machine translation model and it, for the English-German machine translation model, it produces German sentences directly. Another decoding pattern is constraint decoding. Constraint decoding is, a is, a, is an approach that enforces some constraint to appear in the decoding result through some mechanism or algorithm. For example, in the constraint decoding, besides the same input sentences, there are, two, there are some constraints that we want the result to contain. After the decoding, the constraints will should appear in the results. For example, uh, here is uh, still the input English sentences, and uh, besides the input sentences, there is two constraints. And after the constraint decoding, these two constraints will appear at the last result. Constraints are normally some tagged words or phrases or some ter terminologies which are acquired in advance. Through domain knowledge or other methods, constraint decoding ensures constraints partially or fully appear in the translation results. The translation results of constraint decoding are often better than the normal decoding results because uh, those constraints are actually some external knowledge besides the source sentences. Now I will introduce related works. There are different constraint decoding methods in recent years. The most related with our work is the grid beam search, which is proposed by Hockamp in 2017. This diagram illustrates the principle of grid beam search. The bottom rows is a normal beam search process. We can see that the beam units grow horizontally. For grid beam search, let's suppose there is a source sentences and two constraints. The grid beam search assumes that all constraints should appear may appear at each decoding step and extends a beam vertically into grid beam. So there are several beam units at each step rather than a single beam unit. The head of grid is equal to the tokens of the token numbers of the constraints. This results a very slow decoding speed because the number of hypotheses increase very quickly according to the number of constraints and the decoding style. Now I will introduce the problems and uh, this paper's idea. Other constraint decoding methods include uh, Sandwiches in 2016 and uh, Anderson's in 2017. Their common problems are that, first, when decoding, only the constraints or information is considered to guide the placement of constraints, and no other information is used. The decoding speeds are slow, or, or if they have some acceleration, the quality of the result often become bad. Second, all those methods are based on the RN model, RN model. So whether term constraints are necessary and whether those constraining algorithms are effective on the transform model are still need to be verified. So this paper's idea is that first, transformer model is very powerful. It's 
Grid beam search still necessary or effective when applied on transform model. Second, constraints can include not only the target side words or phrases, but also can include source side information. So can we get guides or inspiration from source side in this constraint decoding process so we can speed or improve the decoding result? Based on above idea, we first investigate the feasibility and the effectiveness of performing constraint decoding using grid beam search in transformer model. We then develop a simple but effective lexically constraint decoding strategies for transformer, uh, which is a source-informed heuristic method to reduce the beam search space of the grid beam, of the grid beam search. We call our method heuristic grid beam search. It uses the attention information from the multi head attentions and reference to place constraints at each step. We also do fully experiment to compare our method with Valina transformer and the grid beam search transformer. Now it is necessary to introduce transformer model. And transformer model overperformed other NMT models and become state-of-the-art in machine translation domain. It uses a combination of self-attention and feed-forward layers in the encoder and additional source attention layers on the decoder side. The most important part of transformer is the self-attention inside encoder and the attention between encoder and decoder. The right part illustrates the attention between decoder and the encoder. At, a, at the third step of a decoding layer, the current decoder step distributes an attention weight to the output of encoder. The weight can be regarded as alignment information. These attention weights are a key factors in our methods. Now I will introduce our heuristic grid beam search methods. This diagram is a principle of grid beam search. We can see the grid of the beam units. In our HGBS method, we want to only grow the grid at the right step with right constraints so to avoid inflate and meaningless beams and hypotheses. The ideal state of grid beam search is that there are only limited beam in each column of the grid. Are the unnecessary beam units are filtered with some guidance. So this is the ideal state of our grid beam search. We still use the example of the sentences. We want the first Constraints only start from the first step, and the second constraints start from the fifth step. Continue our methods. In order to filter some beam units and hypotheses from grid beam search, we first utilize source side information of constraints. In our work, the constraints are extracted using point-wise mutual information between source and target. Here are an example of source, target, sentences and the constraint which contains source side, target side and the source side position. We then use the attention weight between encoder and decoder during decoding process. For example, the grid does not grow vertically until when the decoding step reached the six target words and the attention weight distributed on the second word are large enough. All we can see is that the growth of grid in vertical direction is triggered by attention weight or alignment weight. We adopt those methods to achieve our goal of reducing grid beam search space. This is our 
HTTPS method. In our method, we must set a threshold for the attention weights to trigger the starting of a constraint or growth of grid. Our algorithm includes six steps. Our paper gives details of the algorithm. Now I will introduce the experiments. We focus our experiments on the domain adaptation task for constraint decoding through terminology. We use English, German, and Chinese English translation tasks to perform the comparison experiments. Our English German model are use, use WMT data, and our Chinese English model use LDC data. Most sentences in this corpus come from the news domain. In another side, we adopt Autodesk post-editing corpus of software localization as target domain data. We first train two translation models and then adapt the models to translate to translate Autodesk post-editing post post editing corpus. The Autodesk Post-editing corpus is quite different from the WMT data and the LDC data. The corpus is divided into 10,000 training sentences and 1,000 test sentences. All experiments explore the base transformer model configuration. And uh, uh, the maximum number of constraints is set to 6 and uh, the attention threshold is set to 0 0.1. Here come the results. This table gives our results. We first compare the translation quality. The first row is a baseline. It's a standard transformer. The second row, GBST, is a transformer model plus GBS. And the last row is HGBST. It's transformer model plus our method HGBS. We first check the GBST, the second rows. In the English German task, GBST outperforms the baseline by 8.9% in blue and 30.8% in meter score. In Chinese English task, the increment is 5.44 points and 0.11 points in blue and meters. So the improvement of GBST is great compared with the baseline. The low baseline score on the Chinese English shows that the domain of the Autodesk state is very different from that of the LDC data. We can continue to check the HGBST, the last rows, and uh, through comparing, we can draw two conclusions. First, Constraint transformer model is effective for domain adaptation, especially when the domains of the training data and the testing data are different. Second, HGBST models gain a comparable performance to GBST in terms of blue and meter scores. We continue to check the results. Left figure compares speed, speed regarding the number of constraints we divide the sentences into different groups according constraints, and then we average decoding time. We can see when the number of constraints increased, the speed gap enlarged between GBS and HGBS. The right figure is the number of average hypotheses in the grid beam search space. We can see that there is a grid decreasing between GBS and HGBS. So we can see that uh, after using source information to probe hypothesis in the GBS, our HGBS method has greatly decreased decoding time, especially when a sentence contains more than three constraints. In order to get uh, optimized hyperparameters, such as the uh, threshold or which layer is best, we made analysis based on series experiments. We first analyzed the effect of attention on the different thresholds. 
through set the threshold from small value to large value, we get a series result. The third row in the table gives the results corresponding to the threshold in fourth rows. We can see that with the increase of the threshold, translation quality decreased constantly. And when the threshold set to 0 0.6, HGBST drops to almost the same as the baseline. Based on the above observations, we set the threshold to 0 0.1 in our HGBS method. We then analyze the effects of the word alignment quality on translation results. Our instinction is that a better word alignment should produce better translation. The standard transform model has six layers and each where each layer contains eight heads, so we can get a 48 attention weights. In order to evaluate the alarm quality, we use fast lines output as gold standard. We use mean square error between attention weight and fast lines output as evaluation of alignment quality. We plot the alignment quality and the translation quality on the diagram. The attention weight comes from layer 5. Each curve contains 8 points corresponding to 8 heads. The bottom two curves are the alignment arrows, and the left top curve is the translation quality produced by setting threshold to 0 0.1. The right top curve is the translation quality produced by setting threshold to 0 0.2. We also calculated the Pearson coefficients and the Spearsman's coefficients. From those coefficients, we can say that there is a high negative linear and monotonic correlations. From this, we can say that if we can improve the quality of word alignment, of multi head attention, we can further improve translation quality and uh, better guide the placement of constraints. So, to further improve translation quality. In the next step, we refine the transformer model to verify our assumption. Here, we explain how we refine the model. We first average all attention and define the alignment arrow as before. We then define a new loss function. Here, HD is the normal decoder cost of the transform model, and omega is the weight for alignment arrow. We first train our transform model as normal, then we retrain the model with the new loss function. The new results is shown in the table. Comparing with the refined baseline, the GBS obtains 3.31 increment and uh, HGBS almost achieves the same performance as GBS. This shows that the refined model can improve our HGBS methods. Okay, now comes to the conclusions and uh, future work. In our paper, we re-implemented and uh, investigated GBS method based on the transformer model. We proposed a heuristic GBS, a source-informed heuristic method guided by the multi-head attention mechanism. Our HGBS method outperforms the transformer model in terms of blue and meter score. It approaches hypothesis and speed decoding time. It is more, it is more practical for low resource domain adaptation translation tasks. In the future, we will further optimize the proposed HGBS method in terms of translation quality, decoding time, and etc. Okay, that's my talk. Thank you, and uh, any questions?